welcome everyone on that video we will talk about solving quadratic equation by completing square so before starting completing square I want to make sure uh, what's the square uh, as you see there's an expression and it's a quadratic expression how we know there's a power of x and it's 2 so x square uh, here when you solve this question it's already the perfect square is x square we have a squared here so there is no another term x square equal 36 to solve that one we are going to use square root of the both side so what number square is 36 so it will be 6 6 square is 36 and square, negative 6 it can be negative 6 either because negative 6 square is equal to 36 let's check okay 6 square if x equals 6 6 square is equal to 36 that's right if x equal negative 6 so a negative 6 square it's again 36 so when we use a square root you can directly say absolute value x is equal square root of 36 so 6 that's mean the absolute value it can be negative and positive 6 let's go into the next question as you see there's an x square equal negative 5 here be careful about that question there is a negative 5 it's not a perfect square to move if I cancel this negative 5 so I can add both sides of the equation of 5 and this will be 0 x squared equal 5 now you can use square root of 5 uh, why if you to, uh, if you want to solve this equation there's an x squared to cancel this square we will use square root so this will be x square root of 5 and of course x equal negative square root of 5 I'm not going to say all time absolute value x equals square root of 5 therefore x equals square root of 5 and x equals negative square root of 5 when you use square root you can uh, for a variable it can be positive or negative uh, values can get uh, positive and negative value let's continue x squared plus 25 uh, here as you see we don't have any perfect square here minus 25 minus uh, 25 okay now plus 25 minus 25 0 on the x squared it's equal negative 25 use square root so here square root x is equal plus or minus I'm sorry post for negative square root of negative 25 but here as you see there's a negative inside the square root so it's not a real number no real number solution why inside the square root we cannot write this negative uh, value 2x square equal 96 same idea at 96 both sides so 2x squared equal 96 divided by 2 divided by 2 now we will have x squared equal 48 use the square root again x is equal post for negative square root of 48 so square root of 48 what is it it's 16 times 3 so it will be equal post for negative 4 square root of 3 48 is 16 multiplied by 3 so let's write here it's plus or minus square root of 16 multiplied by 3 and 16 is 4 square root of 16 is 4 let's see another question as you see there is this x squared plus 9x if you write here minus 9 minus 9 so x squared plus 6x equal 7 here be careful you cannot factorize even you factorize by x x plus 6 equals 7 it's the other side is not 0 so you cannot use 0 product here therefore uh, you cannot find uh, the value of x by the factorization what will uh, what can we do we will check it's a perfect expression of a perfect squared expression or not what was the rule remember it a squared plus 2 times a times b plus b squared so a instead of a we have x here x squared plus 2 times x there is a b 2 times b must be 6 so b is 3 I can say b is 3 plus 
3 squared. Is that 9? Yes. So that's actually a perfect square equals 16. Why? It's x plus 3 squared equals 16. Here be careful when you use square root of it, you use when you use square root of it, x plus 3, because we it's under the square, so it's x plus 3 is equal 4, or x plus 3 is equal negative 4. To find the value of x, you need to subtract that 3 from both sides, plus 3 minus 3 still be 0, only x, 4 minus 3 is 1, or same idea you will take away this uh, minus uh, this 3 from both sides so plus 3 minus 3 will be 0 minus 4 minus 3 is going to be minus 7 so negative 7 x equal 1 or x equal negative 7 these are our solution so this is already as a perfect square I never completed at the moment it's already perfect square just I reorganize it and I find the value of x let's see another question this is again x squared. The first value is x squared minus 2 times x. Here I need b plus b squared. So let's check. 2 times b is equal 4. So b equal 2. And now I find the value of b and b squared. I need a b squared is equal 2 squared. So b squared equal 4. I will keep the, these in mind. Oh, sorry. I will keep this part in my mind. Let's put it here. If you see, I find calculate the b square, but here I don't have 4, so that's not a perfect square. To find this value of, to make it uh, this expression perfect square, I need here 4. So how can I get this minus 5? How can uh, it become 4? If I add what number it's going to become 4, let's check minus 5 plus a number must be 4 let's add plus 5 plus 5 my number equal 9 if I add 9 both sides so it's going to be perfect square let's add 9 and there's a plus 9 so x squared minus 4x plus 4 equal 9 why minus 5 and plus 9 together it's become plus 4 so this equation now perfect square how I know it first one squared minus two times first one multiply second one so minus two times two minus four plus two squared that's four we already defined b and b squared and our target to make it perfect squared x minus two squared equal nine now we made a we made it a perfect square and x minus two it's equal nine let's use square root here okay, that's good x minus 2 this cancel each other we get x minus 2 not 3 sorry about that one x minus 2 it's equal 3 squared of 3 or x minus 2 not 3 sorry it's x minus 2 it's equal negative 3 plus 2 plus 2 x equal 5 or x equal plus 2 plus 2 that will be 0 negative 3 plus 2 negative 1 x equal 5 or x equal negative 1 uh, these two are our solution x equal 5 and x equal negative 1 is our solutions so here what we did it wasn't a perfect square uh, binomial equation so we make the it's binomial equation y minus 5 when i add plus 9 both side equation i get 4 so it's become x minus 2 square here x minus 2 square is equal 9 then we solve that part Let's continue from this question. Uh, x squared plus 2 times x times b. So 2 times b, as you see here, 2 times b equal 8. Equal 8. What is b? b equal 4. So you can simplify here by 2. So b equal 4. I need a b squared. It's equal 4 squared. That's equal 16. Now I calculate the 16. I already have 2 times 4, 8, but I don't have here 16. So I need that both sides plus 16, plus 16. x squared plus 8x plus 16 is equal 49. So that's x plus 4 squared. x plus 4 squared, that's equal 49. Use the square root for both sides. x plus Let's see. X plus 4 equals 7. 
or x plus 4 equal negative 7 x equal 3 or x equal negative 11 why you take away for both sides okay let's see that question as you see 4x squared minus 12x and I cannot say this is a square why it's 4 is not under the square so instead of 4x squared I can write 2x squared minus 2 times 2x multiply by b and I need plus b square so 2 times 2 times b it's equal to 12 2 times 2 times b equal 12 2 times 2 4 4 times b equal 12 divided by 4 divided by 4 b equal 4 divided by 4 1 12 divided by 4 equal 3 I need a b squared that's 3 squared is 9 so I already have 2 times 2 times 3 is 12 but I don't have here 9 to make it 9, I need that both side 8. That's plus 8 plus 8. Now, 2x, that's a minus, so minus b squared, that's I met, that's the form of 2x minus b squared, is equal, minus 4 plus 8 is equal to 4. Use the square root of both sides. And what is the b? I wrote here b, sorry. Uh, the b is 3. So 2x minus 3 squared equal 4. Then 2x minus 3 equal 2 or 2x minus 3 equal negative 2. Let's keep it here on the right hand side. Okay, now plus 3 plus 3. 2x equal 5. x equal 5 over 2. Or, or 2x minus 3 equal minus 2. 2x equal 1. x equal 1 over 2. That's the, uh, these are the answer x equal 5 over 2 and x equal uh, 1 over 2 are our solutions. So let's solve another example. Let's solve this example. Here I have 3x squared this time. So 3x squared minus 2x is equal to 21. Be careful here, 3 is not a perfect square. So to make it perfect square, you can divide all of the side by 3 and uh, other side by 3 or you can multiply both side by 3 I'm going to use the second method uh, let's do it here okay, I'm going to multiply this expression the right side by 3 and all the left side equation by 3 so let's multiply 3 times 3 when you multiply the expression you that's mean you are multiplying all terms one by one this three two property remember that one 3 times 3 9 x squared minus 3 times 2 6 x equal 3 times 21 63 here let's check that's not now we can make it 3x squared 3x squared minus 2 times um, 3x multiply b plus b squared so i need b 2 times 3 times b equals 6 so divide that's 6b equals 6 divide by 6 divide by 6 b equals 1 what is b squared 1 squared equal 1 so what is missing on the right hand side here I need plus 1 so if I put here plus 1 that's b squared plus 1 and uh, here yeah you can add that one but uh, sorry I'm going to add here in that equation I need plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so now it's become 3x plus minus that's the minus minus b what is b1 minus 1 squared it's equal 64 Use the square root 3x minus 1 equal 8 or uh, let's keep it on the right hand side I don't want to distract you 3x minus 1 equal minus 8 3x equal 9 let's shrink that part let's move it a little up let's shrink a bit that's better so 3x equal 9 divided by 3 divided by 3 x equal 3 that's the first one now I need to solve this part 3x minus 1 equal minus 8 plus 1 plus 1 3x equal minus 7 so x equal minus 7 over 3 that's the last step so x equal 3 and x equal negative 7 over 3 are our solutions that's the end of the video if you have any question, you can write at comment so I can answer it for you. Thanks for listening.